After that incredibly long fucking traffic jam on the interstate, I came across the most well-advertised fucking McDonald's in existence. Okay, like, they had me sold on that shit. I was like, hell yes. I'm going to that McDonald's. I'm going there. There's just, it's just, there's no stopping me. There's no stopping me, right? So, I get in there, and there is this hot-ass old, like, UPS driver dude. It's like, like, bowling ball, shiny, bald head, freaking wearing that tan outfit. You know what I mean? He literally, like, that's a uniform. It's like any dude in any uniform, I'm fucking telling you guys. Like, I get trolled for telling dudes, like, if you want the chicks, just get you any uniform. Any uniform, okay? It's the fucking truth, whether anybody likes it or not. So, this fucking guy, okay, he was grizzled as fuck. Like, he was not... Like, something inside of me said, make eye contact with him and smile at him. So I did, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, I could tell like he wasn't, he wasn't that kind of dude, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't soft, you know what I'm saying? But I did it. I was like shamelessly just looked him right in the eyes, just like blue fucking eyes, dude. And I just smiled at him. <laughs> he did not know how to, he just didn't know how to respond. So anyways, like, um, you know, so we like distracted ourselves with the TV. Like he was like, it was like the weather channel or some shit. And he was just looking at it, you know, just trying to like not pay attention. And I did it again. Like I looked him in the eyes again and I like smiled at him again. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like his burgers or whatever came out before my food did. And like the lady comes over to the counter and says, order whatever, a couple McDoubles, you know. And I look at it like I'm going to go for it. You know what I mean? And it was his. And he looks at me like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Dude, oh my god, it is the hot motherfucking south, dude. It is like humid and just like, oh my god, it's just. <sighs> Dang, this chick's got a nice ass. Woo! Her man's pretty hot too, but to be honest, like, I'm kind of on her team. Well, anyways. I'll be home today, God willing, again, I never want to, like, just assume that I'm going to make it there alive or anything. I mean, it is, you know, the East, and it is the South, and I think at this point, everybody knows how I seem to fucking feel about that, you know what I'm saying? So, there's that. Um, that said, I will, I will say, the South is certainly the best part of the East. I mean, you know, and it's not just because I'm Southern that I think that. It's people are a lot nicer, and I've talked to people who moved from, like, Northeastern states, and, you know, like, unequivocally and without fail, they're always, like, everybody's so much nicer here. They're just so much nicer. I'm not saying people in the Northeast are assholes. I just think that I don't know, it's like they've had to develop, like, certain kind of armor to just, like, deal with life, like, being from there. So, anyways, McDoobies, McDoobies. I call it McDoobies because of Cheech and Chong. I think that's a song of theirs. But, anyways, I got the filet fish and I actually got two of them because, again, you know, it's me. And a uh, small fry because I can't handle too many fries. So, let's get some of this in my mouth, and we will discuss the future. Mmm. Mmm. all stuck to my teeth. In the hell. Whatever. So anyways, for the next like week, and honestly like the weather forecast look, looks like that's longer than that. Fucking dismal dude. Like the area that I'm going to 
in to where my base is located. I call it my base. You know, it's home, but I don't intend to like, well, anyways, I'm not going to give away any of my plans. So, the weather's going to be kind of shite for a while, and I'm going to take that time to painstakingly plan and uh, get supplies for my project. And um, literally the entire project, you know, revolves around outdoors. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if it's raining, which is apparently going to be for like a depressingly fucking agonizing long time, apparently. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll like change miraculously or something. But I'm going to take that time to plan out all the aspects and get the supplies because... The very first thing that I have to do involves building something, like, with wood and, like, you know, whatever. So, I'm gonna, I don't want to do that when it's fucking raining and, like, wet and everything, you know what I mean? Like, am I being a pussy about that? I don't know. I feel like things should just be dry. I don't know. I've never done this before, so. I'm gonna have to sort of wait, wait it out until it's drier. But I will say this, I mean, if it takes too motherfucking long, I will just start building it in the fucking rain, like, to be honest. Did I mention that hot-ass UPS dude was driving a UPS semi? And he took off immediately. Like, just to think about him just, like, driving that bitch in semi. And that sexy fucking uniform with his bald-ass fucking shiny head. Eating those McDoubles. Like. Oh, to be a McDouble right now. Like, honestly. So. I, like, laying in rest stops for the past couple days have been, like, researching all this different kind of stuff to do with the project. And, um, I just know myself. I just know I'm about to enter into a time of just, like, fucking all-day research. Just all-day, just, like, comparing and pros and cons and... Just just every aspect of this project is going to literally consume every fucking second of the day. And just, I'm going to have to do so much computing and so much, like, just... <sighs> yes. So, it's, you know, I just stick by what Nikola Tesla said. You know, he said that before he builds anything in reality, right, he builds it in his mind. And that's what I'm going to be doing, but I'm also obviously going to be ordering and whatnot, everything that I need to do this. I'm going to have to put a lot of thought into how to do it right. I'm not going to lie though, like... Living in your vehicle and traveling and all that kind of stuff, I mean... It kind of takes a toll on you. You know what I mean? It's like... It's been a month, and I feel like I've lived a lot of life. Like, I've, like, experienced a lot of things, and just, like, went pretty hard, you know? So maybe, in some ways, it'll be good to have the downtime of research and planning and getting supplies 
while I wait for the weather to cooperate. God, the south is humid as fuck, dude. You don't have to say it. Say it, but you don't have to say it. Oh my god, do that. It squirted juice all over me. If only it was the UPS man. So anyways. <laughs> Ooh la la. I just touched myself. So, I just know, like, immediately when I get in a house, it's going to be so weird. It's going to feel so weird and, like, so just unnatural, really. And I'm greatly looking forward to To the project and to achieving the vision and experiencing that and I will say that I know it won't be without challenges I know it won't be without challenges it may not even necessarily work out But damn it, I'm going to give it my best shot. Look at that fucking bite right there. Look at that. God. You know, I feel like if saunas are, like, good for you and stuff, then this hot-ass, like, melting weather, like, isn't that kind of the same thing? Isn't it kind of like being in a sauna on a constant, literal basis? Like... I don't know, y'all. I will say that I'll be glad to, for now, stop risking my life on a constant basis by driving constantly. Um, I think it'll be nice to kind of just not have to worry about surviving immediately. Because, I mean, it's the truth. It's like you're driving around tons of metal surrounded by tons and tons and tons of other metal on incredibly hard surfaces. It's like, one fuck up and you're meeting your maker, you know what I mean? It's like, that's just all there is to it. And 
there's a level of fatigue involved here for me. So I'll be just, I'll be glad to not be doing that. I mean, I love to drive and everything, but it's just, you know, it's like, fuck. Can't do it anymore right now. I just can't do it anymore. Um, whenever I do, you know, stop driving and everything, it's like, I still see the lines on the road when I close my eyes and I still like feel that motion and see it. And for a few weeks after arriving back, it's always like you wake up and you still think you're in the car. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like for the last few days I've woken up and like had this sense of like, it's almost like panic or something. It's like, where the fuck am I? You know, oh my God, where am I? You know, I have to like figure out like, where the fuck am I right now? You know? And then today it was accompanied by this pang of like disappointment at the concept of like stopping traveling and returning home, you know? And then once you get home and you wake up and you're, you know, wondering where you are and then you remember you're home, that's also incredibly weird. So, it's an adjustment period. You have to really adjust to not doing this anymore. I'm just glad I have something to distract myself with. Otherwise, I wouldn't be happy right now at all. Because the thing is, is that... Oh. God, dude, I'm just, it's just so humid. Um, the thing is that I understand not everybody wants to live in a vehicle. And I understand not everybody can do that, you know. And that is a great alternative lifestyle. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me, dude. I can't even explain what happened just then. It was retarded. Anyway... I need to cover all the bases for people who don't want to live in a vehicle, right? I'd say the only thing that I'm not willing to do, at least at this juncture, is go full-on Peace Pilgrim style. Like, look up Peace Pilgrim if you don't know who she is. She was a woman who walked around the U.S. and uh, Canada and a little bit of Mexico for like 30 years. I feel like I've said this in another video. I probably did. Um, and she just slept wherever. Like, she just, like, crawl in a bush or under an overpass and just, like, sleep there. It's like, look, I'm not, I'm not fucking there right now. Like, I'm not there yet. And I'll tell you what, though, it's, it's really strange is that, um, I mean, I had been, I think, I think this is when I had been kind of researching Peace Pilgrim a little bit, a while back, I actually had a dream that I was walking around, like, aimlessly. And, like, I was in a neighborhood. Ooh, gross. Sweat. Oh, my God. And I was walking around in a neighborhood, and it's like, there's this lady and her kid, you know. And they were just kind of wondering, like, what the fuck I was doing, you know what I mean? And it was just like, I was just walking, and I knew in my mind, eventually, I was going to find a bush and lay down in the bush, you know, and then be like, where I slept. It was some straight Peace Pilgrim shit, dude. I was like, man. I don't think that's me like oh you know what I mean I wouldn't put it past me though honest to god wouldn't I'm not fucking ready for that though so and that's like taking alternative living just like way beyond like even Pil Peace Pilgrim herself said you know it was basically like she was asked you think other people should do this you think other people should walk you know and do this and she was like you know the time for someone to walk this way may be, you know, over, right? But it's going to be separated and and um, split up among many people who will do their version of the Peace Pilgrim Walk, essentially, is what she was saying. And I see this as kind of something like that. It's like options, you know? People need to have options of how to live life, right? Because we're here, and as long as we're alive, we're going to be here, and we're going to wake up every day, we're going to be us, and we're going to need to live life somehow. We're going to have to live life, right? It's like, how do you do it? How do you, how do you live life? You know, and I feel like a life spent indoors 
in a house under the same roof for years at a time, I feel that it is not necessarily a waste, but it's just that time will speed by you, warp speed, and your life will just be the same day in and day out. And it's like, that makes time go by faster, thus your life goes by faster, you know? And people need options. They need options of how to differently experience life. So, that's what I'm doing next is this vision that I have. I want to do it. I want to see how I feel about it. See if it's doable. See if it, it is an option for people who might be interested in it. And I want to have that experience. So... So once I make it home, I'm not going to be traveling around anymore. And I'm going to go into planning and gathering mode. Study, research. Again, painstaking. Like, that's everything I do and everything I think about. And, you know, I just explore it to its absolute fullest extent. And... So I'll have some time to do that because of the weather and it is what it is. It's like I said, if I get impatient, I will start building shit in the rain. I just will. It's just, this is just not going to stop me at a certain point. But um, I'm sure it'll clear up just when I need it to and just when I'm ready for it to. So that's what I'm going into is a phase of researching and gathering everything that I need to fulfill this vision of an alternative lifestyle. So, I love you guys. Stick with me. And I'll try not to fucking melt in this southern heat. 